Another interesting thing about Jade is that sometimes, not often, I've seen that this work and not work. I don't know if it's a practice thing, but if you crouch like that, the follow-up will hit you. If you don't crouch, sploosh. Did you see she whiffed the first hit? So one way that you could potentially do it is make her with the first hit and punish. If she just goes for it right after. Okay, so I think I found the little secret here. If you just hold block, I'm just holding it the whole time. Look, her follow-up touches me every single time. However, if I do this, sploosh, I let go of block. Oh, did you see? I let go of block after the fourth hit. It whiffs. That's a secret. Huh, huh, huh. You can follow up like that. So if someone does that, let go of block as soon as they finish hitting you. And then you can go ahead and punish them. Whoops, you gotta be careful though, right? Yeah, she's gotta whip the first hit. Here we go, beautiful. Ouch. So again, if you just hold right trigger, it's gonna hit you. If you let go of right trigger, right after she hits you for the for the fourth time, right after you're out of, of a block stun, it whiffs. Isn't that interesting? Isn't that freaking interesting? Huh, huh, huh. However, just keep in mind, if you crouch block, which you're always supposed to crouch block against Jade at that distance, even if you let go of block at the last hit, right? It's right in your face. It's gonna hit you. Look at how close you stay when you're crouched. You don't move compared to here. When she kicks, the animation makes you move a little bit. So what you can do here is on the fourth hit, whoop, did you see that? On the fourth hit, you just get up, let go of block. Get up, let go of block. Whoops, not like this. Like that. Hip! Sploosh! Jade players are usually going to do this right here, right? They do their normal string, like I've taught you, and then they follow up with the back two. This is a frame trap, so you have to respect it. So how do you beat this? Well, you could simply be patient and wait for your turn, right? You do this. She's minus three, it's your turn. Or you could do this. Sloop! And the follow-up doesn't come because she doesn't touch you, so she can't special cancel. So I recommend neutral crouching, taking your turn. Here you go, that's a punish. Just be careful, there's like four hits in there, right? So you really have to be patient and lab it. So that's one way to counter Jade. Um, yeah, there's no really other way you can't jump. Look, if I try to jump, I get hit. Let's try backdashing. You can backdash. <laughs> it counted as a reversal. Interesting, you can reversal front or backdash. Whoops. Yeah, so you can backdash. Can you jump back? You can jump back. You can neutral crouch. So that's how you escape uh, a Jade's attack for variation 2. In variation 2, Jade is definitely going to run at you and try to kick you to get that pressure, right? If she kicks me, what's her pressure? Plus 3, that's right. In the neutral, no, not in the neutral. Full screen, just duck. Neutral duck. Whoops. Neutral duck and wait for the kick. And sploosh. That's how you want to do it. Just be careful because if she changes this to the mid, she'll hit you. But I think that's, you know, that's a good bet. Um, <laughs> it's a good bet to get hit by one mid if what you could potentially get is a down two crushing blow and then into full combo, right? So that is one way you can anticipate her. Um, other than that, you're going to have to block if she throws out the mid. If she's real close to you in the corner, pressuring you. If she does this, you're gonna have to take it, right? There's no other way around this. Look at how close we are. Interesting. Push back a bit further depending on the animation. Look. Oh, interesting. Anyways, so you're gonna have to take this and she's gonna keep going. There's no other way around it. You you might get grabbed or not. Uh, if she does this though, look at this distance here. What if we do it on uh, Tuck? Yeah, same thing. There's a lot of distance. She's gonna whiff her follow-up if she does the same thing. So she's going to have to dash forward. That's an opportunity for you. Sim whether she dashes forward or not, it's an opportunity for you to escape the corner if she just spams this. If she spams this, you're in luck. You just jump and you're going to punish her. However, what she will probably do is this. Sploosh, right? And the way you want to counter that is to the same thing as if you're not in the corner. You want to neutral duck, dash forward and punish her ass. Here's what Jade is doing here. 
she does her string, she dashes forward and does the string again. In some instances, you will be able to neutral jump if she is not frame perfect. In this instance, I cannot jump. If I do, sploosh, I get hit on my way up. So this is a possibility. However, if you... Hold on, let's say I, I just let her hit me. You jump. You jump. You can always do this. Because it's a dial-in string, she's gonna be stuck. Or now it's your turn. So it's possible that you might have to take a hit <coughs> to uh, to get out of there, but it's not gonna full combo you. It's either that, or you're just gonna neutral jump if she's not frame perfect, and you will get a full punish on her. So either way, go ahead, jump, just jump. It's a dial-in string; she can't stagger it properly, so you're going to punish her if she spams this move. So this is her dashing, right? Because it gives her a little bit of space that. If she doesn't dash, she will whiff. Let's see what happens if she actually does that. So, here's what she does now. She just does it. She spams the move. She doesn't dash. Sploosh! You can jump this. See? Jump. Huh. And you can hit her. Jump. Huh. 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 You can do that. Can you... Let's see if you can um, jump forward. You can even jump forward if she does that. Let's see if you can jump forward if she dashes forward. Now she's gonna dash forward like that, dash forward and hit. So let's see if I can jump forward. Yeah, you're just taking two more hits instead of one if you neutral jump. And she's gonna be ready to block. So if she does that and spams it, jump, take the hit if it hits you, and roll. Or do an up attack or something along those lines. Yeah, you're gonna have to do it with the shield. Also, don't be afraid to trade with Jade. No, not this one. When she uh, tries to trap you like this. Even though she has plus frames, because of the dash, she is not utilizing all of her frames properly. So you, you can outpoke this. Whoops. Splish. See? If she does not dash, let's see what happens if we try to outpoke. Ah, we still touch because of the anim- well, I mean, that's because Devora, it's a Devora and Jade thing because of the animation, but most normals are gonna start as a high. And it's gonna probably touch. It's probably something you wanna try with other characters. Oh, I can't do the down four. Let's see if I do down three. Nope. What if I do down one? Oof. Now it's equal. Oof. So yeah. Just try it. Try it with a normal a standing one. Uh, if she tries to pressure you. So you have that, you can jump, you have options. Don't just don't just stand there and block all the time because you're taking chip damage, it's gonna kill you eventually. What if she's bold and does this on block, these two, right? A good Jade player who's playing against a good whoever is not gonna do this on block. Here's why. Sploosh. You can just micro duck them both. Not micro, you can just duck them. Both of them. One, two, three, I duck both, loop, loop. And there's a big gap in there too. I can even grab them. See? So I can grab them in between. I can do that. I can let go. It's very dangerous for a Jade player to do this. So what you can do, so let's say you respect it too much, right? You respect it too much and you try to take your turn after she hits you on block with two of these projectiles. Look at the block advantage, it's plus 7. And she's gonna follow up with an 11 move. So, that's gonna be fast. I made a video about plus frames showing that they're not always respected in this game, they're kind of bugged. So you might get away with it if you, if you want to trade like that. See, I'm getting a counter here. I'm getting a counter on a 8 frame down 1, even though she has a 11 frame mid with 7 plus frames, so how much is that? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so 4. Technically, she pro she has a 4 frame advantage on me and I'm still hitting her. Because plus frames suck in this game, but it, sometimes this happens. This is what should always happen. I'm trying to go, whoops. Let's say I respect that too much, now I try to take my turn. Now she gets me. This is what should always happen, usually, if the game was working properly. Now it's working properly, apparently. 
not now. <laughs> okay, let's say I don't mash. Yeah. So, what you can do if she throws this out there is this. Just don't respect it at all. Outpoke it, do whatever you want with it. There's plenty of time to react. When you start a match against Jade, block low. Don't block high here. Unless you're not good at reacting to this, which I don't blame you. Online it gets me often, this move here. Um, but yeah, the problem is here, you start here, she can hit you with the overhead, but she can also do this, which you, if I stand hold, should be a crushing blow. Why does it not activate? The fuck? Whoops, I'm not holding it properly. Yeah, so because of this, I would not recommend blocking high, even in the neutral. Just block low and react to the overhead. It's still a relatively slow move, and she can also start you up with uh, with low attacks as well, so block low. This attack here will probably get you either way, but try not to give it to them. <laughs> So yeah, block low at all at all times, and then when she hits you with a slow ass overhead, block high. If you're in fatal blow territory, just let it rip. Sploosh. <laughs> with the shield activation, you're gonna get saved by it anyways in most cases. See how that, that was a reversal punish. Interesting. Okay, so she does this. You can flawless block. It takes practice. I don't think this one is the easiest. I think it's uh, actually pretty challenging to get. All right, I didn't get it. Hold on. Yeah, so you have to let go and... <laughs> yeah, so you, there's always that, but the problem is that she can mix it up with so many things in variation two that I don't recommend it. Plus it's online. First of all, it's not an easy one to do. Flawless block and online it's um, even harder. I don't, it's like if I've done it maybe once or twice online. And I'm pretty generally not too bad at flawless blocking. What if she runs at you and instead of using the high attack, she mixes up and goes for the mid sploosh? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> you see if it'll blow on. You can go ahead and interrupt, stop doing that. You can go ahead and interrupt her with down two, stop doing that, dumbass. Like that. Or if you're bold, you can go ahead with a standing one. Uh, if you're confident that she's not gonna come in with a with a high attack that frame traps But yeah, you should probably just wait Be patient and when she jumps in the air is when you want to try to Anti air Easier said than done, but it takes practice when she runs at you neutral crouch just in case she does the high and then when she jumps at you does something else down to Down to is the way you beat this move. Jade is a character that takes knowledge to beat Especially variation 3. Now, see this is safe too, it's pretty cool. But uh, the weakness in this move, which is the move that people using variation 3 will inevitably use because it's one of her strongest moves, is... Whoops, this. See the wind up? How long it is? Let's look at the frame. So 10, it takes 32 frames for her to swing that bat around after she hits you. And 32 frames up close? You uh, definitely have time to run to erupt it. You can even fatal blow. <laughs> Let's see if you can grab her. Whoops, can you grab her? Hold on. No, you can't grab her. What if I... No, hold on. <laughs> okay, you can't grab her. But you can go for your fastest. I think you're... Okay, let's do it properly. Come on. Okay, now maybe not a slow mid. Oh, yes, actually. It's not that slow. 13, It's that's regular, but... Even a 13 frames mid can sometimes work, but it's pretty tight. Yeah. So, um, you interrupt it with the normals, essentially. Or with pokes, even. Let's try it. Yeah, it works with pokes. Let's see here. Oh, <laughs> Scarlet can parry it. <laughs> can you jump out of it? No, you can't jump. Can you neutral jump? Yeah, you still get hit. But if you... You can neutral jump out of that move. It gives you plenty of time to react, right? Yeah. 
So this, there's no excuse to get beat by this move once you've properly labbed Jade. So that's how you can beat that move here. <laughs> I'm looking at Jade here. I don't think this move is actually fuzzy guardable. The animation looks just too similar. Here I'm not reacting, I'm just guessing. But when I try to react, it just, it's, it's a pure 50-50. There's no reaction to it. Because of the animation, look, she looks like she's about to swing with her legs. Oh, I did it this time. She looks like she's about to swing with her legs. When she does the low, if she ever wants to do the low. She doesn't want to do the low. Will she do the low? Okay, we're stuck in overhead right now. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. She looks a little bit like she's about to swing her legs. Ah, oh, fuck's sakes. Is this going to work? Yeah. So she looks like she's about to swing her legs. But she just does the low. You see what I'm saying? So, I just, I mean, maybe if you have a lot of training, you can train yourself to react to this. It just, it seems like it's the same frames. Just says 32. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think this is reactable. I don't think you can train yourself. I'm taking it back if I ever said it. I don't know, maybe I just suck. <laughs> Anyone able to react to this? I can't. Ugh. For Emerald Defender, assuming that she tries to mix you up instead of zone with this normal mix-up here. What you can do is you can fuzzy guard this. The second overhead is 25 frames, while the lowest 20 frames, so that is fuzzy guardable to a certain extent. You can definitely... If you look at my inputs, I go down and I go down again, and I just release down if I see that the overhead is coming. So, which is why you see Vidavora kind of micro-ducking a little bit. And that covers both. Whoops, not this time. So it's not too hard. There we go. Whoops, I got caught. In terms of her other mix-up, this one is a little bit more difficult because the special is 20, while the overhead is 21, and the animation is fairly similar. So you really have to watch for it. See, I'm getting caught here. Ah. Sometimes I get it. Oof. Oof. Ugh. It's not easy though, so that one might mix you up a little bit more. But the good news is that if you do block it, it's probably a guaranteed punish. Especially if the overhead hits you. Or if, you're, if you block the overhead, because it's minus what? This one is minus 23, and this one, if I can block it, minus 19. So yeah, you're gonna punish. Just like the other though, but uh, yeah, not easy, but kind of doable, kind of. So what happens if we have a Jade that is spamming projectiles? Well, it's n <laughs> you need a counter pick, because if you don't, you're just gonna take so much chip damage trying to come in. But let's say you don't have a counter pick, just close the distance. Micro duck, neutral duck when you can like that. Obviously she was probably going to start running away, depending on the player. But you just have to take the chip. And look how, let's say I block this, all of these here. Look at how much chip I'm taking. Uh, of course the low gets me. So you're gonna take chip. It's inevitable, you have to counter pick. You don't really have a choice because you'll get chipped to death. So I usually counter pick with Devora Variation 2 for that special. It forces them to not zone. Or I pick uh, Cetrion Variation 2 because of the geyser. I can get her. What else is there? The Scorpion who's great at counter picking. You, pick, yeah, you can pick Garrus. Garrus is also great. So counter pick or get, get slammed. What can I tell you? Hoo, 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 hoo. 